The following generative design study attempts to answer to the following question. Given a specific program requirement, what is the optimal rectangular footprint where I can fit the building program with the minimum number of floors and the maximum program efficiency? On the screen, you have a set of optimized solutions that provides me an answer to that question. This multi-optimization study is looking at a site width and length as inputs. It's also looking at a random seed input, which is able to produce new sequences of random lists. The outputs of the study includes the typical floor plate area, the number of levels, and the program efficiency, defined here as the gap between the projected and the actual areas. Let's take a look at how the Dynamo script was generated. This script used Node from the Generative Design Package, Refinery Toolkit, Topologic, and Springs, and I'm running Revit 2021. First, the script calculates the floor plate area and the number of levels required to fit the total gross building area. Then, using an imported data from an Excel spreadsheet, it distributes the program approximately in several buckets of equal size. I use a Python script to build this list of buckets of space program. Each program type has a unique color identifier. I use a dictionary paired with the data remember node to keep the color coding consistent throughout the studies. The name, number, and the program area remain correlated by chopping the list with the same number of items and randomizing the list areas of every floor across every level using the same shuffling operation. I use topologic to expedite the operations between the solids. The building envelope topology is sliced by a cluster of floor plate surfaces resulting in a single cell per floor. The cells then are divided using the custom node cell divide. These operations split the topologic envelope cell using two orthogonal slicing planes placed at a relative normalized location along the cell edge. I have to give credit to Vazem Havi for the coding behind this custom node. The divided cells are converted into dynamo geometry and color using the appropriate program colors defined in the color dictionary. Finally, the geometry is imported into Revit as direct shapes. The program colors are applied as element overrides in the view, and both the projected and the actual information is moved into Revit custom parameters. To generate this study, the script is exported into generative design, and then we create an optimization study where we choose to minimize the number of levels and optimize the building efficiency by maintaining the delta between the program and the actual level to the minimum. The chosen solution after processing can be imported into Revit after reviewing the solution outcomes. There are areas in which the study can be improved. I ignore adjacencies, circulations, and core location, but I believe that the value of this is to provide a rough estimate order of the most adequate building site within the constraint of a site. More to come soon. Thank you.